Hello everyone, my name is Angelica and welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any of my future uploads. I like many different interior styles. Sometimes they are quite similar to each other, but sometimes they are completely different. I just can't help that I like too many things. And I also want to show it all on this channel. So for today's video, I've prepared three new DIY home decor projects in very modern and minimalistic style. Last week we've done Boho. This time we are going more into modern look. Of course, you can customize each of these projects so it fits your interior. I'm just here to inspire you and show that you can decorate your home on a low budget. And now, without any further ado, let's get right into the first project. To create my modern wall art, I will reuse this canvas which I thrifted in a charity shop. The picture itself is not that bad, but it's not my style. I always like to reuse old canvas uh, if that's possible, as it's better for environment and usually used canvas are cheaper than buying new ones. I start with sanding the surface. It has few parts where the paint sticks out more, plus sanding it down even slightly helps the new paint sticking better. For this picture I'm going with warm beige color. I mix white acrylic paint with few drops of brown paint. And to brighten it up I add few drops of yellow paint. Using white paint brush I cover the whole front part of the canvas. Even that I will put plaster over it, it's nice to make the background same color and prepare the canvas for next step. Off the camera I've painted the middle strap of the canvas twice, so this part is still wet when the sides are dry. To make filler more stickable to the canvas I will mix a white wood glue with some water and apply it on only the surface where the filler will go. I let it dry and then I'm ready to create some pattern and texture on this canvas using all-purpose filler. First I cover all the lighter parts. I try to put even layer which is about 3 to 5 millimeters, but filler is not the easiest material to work with so some places are thicker than the others. Using smaller puffy knife I try to create better finish on the edge line. Using fork I start creating the pattern. I basically pull the fork from the top all the way down, making a wavy effect. I also follow the shape of the edge line. I also found spraying the filler with water quite handy before making the design. Filler dries out quickly, so when you spray it with water it becomes softer again and the fork moves much easier. I continue with this pattern covering left and right side of my canvas. After the filler dry out, I started to paint it with the same paint I've mixed before. 
I take small amount at the time and try to fill and cover all the cups, but not overfill them as I don't want to lose the structure of them. I've also created frame from old wood pieces. If you're interested how to make easy but nice looking frame for any picture, let me know in the comment section. I'm happy to share that with you. I like how it turned out. The plaster slash filler wall art is so popular right now and you can experiment with it, creating any texture and patterns you like. This is so easy but very stylish project. To create modern looking candle holder, I will be using this glass dish as my base. As you can see, it cost me only 50p from charity shop. I will also need copper pipe parts. I believe it's a bit which you use to connect two uh, copper pipes together. They are also super affordable, about 50p per piece. For this size of the dish, I will use three of them. I make sure the candle fits inside the hole. You can also just cut pipe to shorter pieces, but this will require you to have pipe cutters, so I think finding ready parts is just easier. The gluing surface on the pipe is very small and thin, that's why it's important to use strong glue. I'm using super glue. I put a generous amount around the pipe edge, trying not to overspread on the outside of the pipe. I press it down and hold for a few seconds, giving the glue time to cure. I take it outside and give it a spray with primer. And as a main color, I'm going with black, which is timeless color and fits perfectly with modern decor. Super quick and easy decor project. Candles are always a good choice when it comes to decorating, so having a nice display for them is always a bonus. I haven't done any project using Edra clay for a while, so I thought the topic of this video would be perfect to create something out of this material. I start with rolling flat big piece of Edra clay. I roll it out to the same thickness, which in this case is about 5mm. I take round bowl and cut the big circle out of my clay. Then I take smaller round ball, place it exactly in the middle of my big circle and also cut it out. I smooth all the edges using some water and my fingertips. I take knife and cut the line which splits my ring. To create the ruffle effect, I will be using wooden lolly sticks. They will help me with making this shape and also will hold it. This project was actually more tricky than I thought it would be. The sticks didn't want to stay in one place and were constantly falling on the side, but it was manageable when using two hands. I put the stick under the clay and then wrap it around it. I knew this ball won't have a perfect shape, but of course I was making as nice as I could. And I continue making the ruffle all the way on my clay piece. To create new bowl, I had to create two separate pieces with the ruffle effect. Now I have to connect them together. I connect two ends by pressing them together. I move the sticks slightly so they don't cover the middle area.
Both need space at the bottom. I've cut small circle shape and placed it under the ruffles. I tap and squeeze them together to connect. Fill the gaps and smooth it all out with clay mixed with water. Once the clay was slightly dry and it was holding the, the shape, I moved it inside the bowl to move its edges higher up and give the bowl shape. Before leaving it for drying, I went with my wet brush around and smoothed out any imperfections. After two days of drying, the bowl is dry and I can remove it. I give it a slight sanding and then paint it and protect with varnish. This bowl looks very modern and abstract. Unusual shape brings attention and it's perfect for decorating your shelves or coffee table. Please let me know in the comment section which project was your favorite and what do you think about the modern style. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. And now, thank you so much for watching your support and I will see you in my next video.